Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Most welcome to Triangular Kamal Academy. Here I welcome to all of you in my academic class. In this content, we are going to discuss top most important MCQ from chapter one for the students of standard seven. Dear students, uh, let's see the MCQ. Inshallah, in this content, we will try to discuss all type of MCQ from this chapter. So first MCQ, number one. Which of the following is the square root of 1681 divided by 2601? So here, this is the fraction number. Definitely, we have to find the square root, both numerator and denominator. 1681 and this is 2601. So first step, I think if you can memorize the square number up to 20. I think it's easily you can find the answer. But now step by step, we will show this one like 1681. One. So start here from the right to left. This is the first pair. This is second pair. So now this is the 16 is the square number, perfect square number this is the four times. This is 16 for four, just 16. So now uh, here there is no uh, after doing the subtraction, there is zero. So now four and the two times of four will be eight. So now this is 81, carry. Now, uh, if we place here one and we have to place here one. So now 81, one times, 81, one times is 81. That's why this is answer is square root of numerator is 41. That means the answer may be 41 by 51 or 41 by 52. Now let's see the second one, uh, 2601. So here, left side and 26 is not a perfect square. That means right here, five. So five, five, 25 and subtraction one, five with two times, there is 10 and then zero one. So 101. So if we write here the one, uh, one, then this one will be one. So 101, 101 times there will be zero. So answer is denominator side is 51 and numerator side is 41. So correct answer is C. Dear students, first step, you have to know how to find this square root in the division method or prime factorization method. Then you can identify this number easily. Uh, so question number two. Which of the following is the square? Which of the following is the square root of one zero one two five? In the same way as like as previous one, you have to find the square root. So there is uh, one point one zero two five. So this simile started from the point. So now this is the first pair. This is second, and this is third. So if the decimal number decimal started, uh, this the pair started from decimal. So now first pair is one. So you can write here one, one times one. So now there is a two times of one uh, here. Two times of one is two. So now there is one pair after decimal there. So we have to use here zero. Now uh, uh, zero. So now if we use here the zero times, zero times, there is zero 10 because if we use here only one times, there will be 21, which is greater than 10. So now use here zero times zero. That is now 10 and carry here 25. So now 10 at two times, there is a 20. So we can write here now six times or five times. Let it go here to last number is 25. So we can take here five times, five times. That means one, zero, two, five. And answer is one, zero. 1.05 so which is answer number b is the correct answer so in the same way you have to find the square root of you have to find this square this is they are the same number but there is no this is the decimal number there is whole number but the digit are the same that's why this both answer is the same there will be 100 and this is this is 1.05 this is 105 which of the following is the square root there is three three is a double pair three three means three square two two means two square so eliminating square and root you will get here three by two which is answer is c uh 
Okay, now three, three done and two, two is okay, nine. Now question requirement, actually we have done here mistake, which is the following square? Which is the following square, not the square root. So I think we have done here mistake. Okay, let's review again. The requirement is find the square. Okay. Uh, okay, here square is, okay, according to the question, which is the following square of this one? Now square and root, we can eliminate. There will be uh, three, three multiply, three multiply three, and two multiply two, and this is nine by four, and which is the correct answer. Or if we, you can do this way, like three multiply three, and then two multiply two. So from two pair of same factor in the doing square root, you can write one, that is three, two multiply two, there is another two. Now, according to the question, find their square. So square, this is now nine by four. Second step, answer is nine by four. So question number five, in the as like as previous one, just find the square root of 1.69. This is one point, that's one point G. Which of the following is the perfect square number? So in these questions, you have to know what is the sh shortcut technique to finding the perfect square number. We all know two, three, if the we, one place digit is two, three, seven, eight. This number will not be perfect square. Here last digit is eight. So this is not perfect square. Here last digit is seven. So this is not the perfect square, eight and seven. Okay, now there is another rules. If the last, there are odd times of zero, there are five zero, zero. That means odd number of zero in that uh, extreme right, this number is not the perfect square. Definitely this one is the perfect square number. That this uh, first one is cancelled for eight unit place digit, D number cancelled for unit place digit is seven. And B number is not the correct answer for the odd times of zero in that stream, right? That is the C is the correct answer. Now the next question, question number seven. Which of the following is the perfect square number? So as like as previous rule, there is one place digit is three. That's why this is not perfect square. Uh, this is, uh, there is three times of zero. That's why this is not perfect square. And here, uh, one place digit is digit is two. This is not the perfect square. Definitely, this number will be the perfect square. Just finding the shortcut rule, then identify the correct answer. Okay, now next question, question number eight. What is the least number which is to be subtracted from this number so that the difference will be the perfect square? Definitely, you have to find the square root. Uh, here one three double zero in times of subtraction and addition you have to find the square root in long division method so now uh, this is the three times three times nine and there is a four and double zero so now 400 and here three two times is the six here three times is the six and then uh, now this is uh, 32 okay if we had, there is 400. So now if we use here six and seven, uh, there will be seven times seven, seven is 49, carry four, six, seven is 42, 42 plus nine, four plus 48. I think this is the, okay, you say six times, six times six, six, six is 36, six, carry uh, three, uh, 66 is 36, 36 plus 3, 39. So here, this is the four. So now our question is requirement. What is the list number which is to be added? Added. So added rules, 36 here, second step, 36 plus one, whole square minus given number, one, three, double zero. So now 37 is square minus given number, the result will be 37 square uh, 37 is square is the 37 multiply 37 seven sevens are 49 nine carry four seven three is a 21 21 plus 425 and then multiply three sevens are 21 one 21 one carry two three three is a nine nine plus two eleven 
So now this is nine, six, three, three, one, one, three, six, nine. So one, three, six, nine given, uh, one, three, six, nine given, the number is one, three, double, zero. Definitely result is, uh, result will be, what is the last number which is to be subtracted? Oh, already this is done. In times of subtraction, the remainder is the answer. In times of addition, then we have to add the second step. But in times of subtraction, remainder will be the answer. Okay, what is the list number which is to be added? So added, then the sum will be the perfect square number. So now here, uh, number is given one, two, double zero. So use the long division method. This is the three times, uh, three times nine. There is it nine and three double zero. So now three six. Uh, here we can use uh, four times. Okay, four times four and four four just sixty four. Four carry six. Four six are twenty four. Twenty four plus uh, twenty four uh, plus twenty six. Okay. Uh, there is now six and carry one, seven, seven, this is three, 36. Okay, now this number is 34. So the list number is to be added, 34 plus one whole square minus the given number, two zero, the one double zero, 35 whole square. So 35 square is equals to here. If we write 35 square, and this number is minus one two double zero. So thirty five square one two two five one two two five minus one two double zero. That is remainder is twenty five. So option number B. In times of addition, two step. First step find the remainders. Then the the answer is here thirty four and thirty four. The next number will be the thirty five and thirty five minus given number. Thirty five square minus given number. Okay, now let's see the next question. Here, next question, square root of this one, which is the following is the result of this one. It's very easy and simple question. So here we see here, uh, 36 square root will be six, five square root is a five. So now divide six, uh, this is the one times five, then carry one decimal zero, then two, 10. So this is 1.2, question number answer C. Now, next question, which is the following is the result of this one. First step, if we find the square root of 169, there is a 13. And if we find the square root of 225, 225, there is square root of 225, there is 15. So now here, uh, there is a 400, square root of 400, there is result is 20, and square root of uh, 676. So square root of six, seven, six, after doing the calculation, there will be 26. So now this is uh, divided by five, four times. This is three times, this is two. And here we can divide this. So two by three, is there any option? Two by three, yes, question number D answer. So now uh, next, which of the following is the irrational number? Irrational number, so if the number there is a, after doing simplification, if you see here any square root symbol, that means the number will be irrational number. Okay, review this one. Uh, this is result. This is this re, this is result is ten. So this is not the irrational number. Zero is not the irrational number. Uh, here both are the same. So we can write here three by two. This is not the irrational number. Definitely one thousand. If we do the square root, there will be decimal number like one square root of 1000. Uh, here answer is 10 root of 10. So after doing the simplification, there is remaining here the square root. That's why this is the irrational number. All are after doing simplification, they are fractions or whole number. Definitely whole number we can convert into a fraction, no problem. So only this number we cannot convert into the fra fraction. This is the correct answer, which is the following square root of atom. So there is, after decimal, there is how many pair? One pair, two pair, three pair. So first step, one pair for zero, one, two, three. One pair, two pair, three pair, then 36, six. So triple zero, six, this is the correct answer, C. Which is the following is the irrational number. 
their irrational number, this one result is 10. Uh, this 10,000 square root of 1,000, 1,000 definitely is like as this is irrational number. So there is one whole number, there is uh, here one again zero. Four zero and there is hundred square root. This one is hundred. So only uh, this is square root convert into the whole number or fraction. This is whole number or fraction. This is whole number or fraction. But this number cannot be written as like as PYQ from. So this is irrational number. Question number uh, fifteen. Which of the following is the square root of three in up to three decimal place? So here you have to find the square root of three. Now three up to three decimal place means you have to write, oh, up to one decimal place. So just write the two pair. Then now find the square root. Here in the square root one times, one times this is one and then two and here one double is two. And there is one pair after decimal. That's why you see a zero, 200. So now one point square root of three. Uh, here, this is now we can use the seven time. This is seven, 27 multiply seven, 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 the 49, nine. Then carry four, seven to the 14, 14 plus four. This is 18. Uh, then this is one, uh, carry one. Uh, there is one, 11. So again, another zero. This is 17 doubles, 34. 17 doubles is 34. So now here, we can write it. This is the three times three times three and three three is a nine. Three three is a nine and three four is a twelve two carry one. Uh, three three is a nine nine. This is the ten. So now one one. This is the three seven carry one seventy one. So uh, if the requirement is one decimal place, at least we have to find the two decimal number, which is one point seven three. But here, second place digit is smaller than smaller than uh, five. That's why the result is only one point seven. So there is one point seven. Yes, a correct answer is a. Now see the next question. Okay, uh, here question number. The difference of the difference of the square of two consecutive number is 13. Uh, then answer to question number 16 and 17 according to the stem. The difference of this square of consecutive number is 13. So what is if one number is seven? Definitely one number is if one number is six, another number may be seven or maybe uh, five. We have to find this square. This is 36. This is 49 and this is 25. Now we have to find whose difference is uh, 13. So here difference is, this is difference is, no, this 36, 25. Uh, here difference 25, one, and this is one, 11. And this difference is uh, three, and this is one. So 13 difference is 36 and 49. If one number is six, another number will be seven because there is square difference is 13. What is the sum of their square? Definitely 36 plus 49. And this is the 15, five, and this is 45. So is the option is, uh, what is the, what is the sum of their, what is the sum of their square? What is the sum of oh, what is the sum of their square? One number is 36, another number is 49. So they are what is the sum of their square? The correct answer is 15. And oh, like we have done mistake here in addition. Okay, this is 85. So the answer is T. Which of the following digit are not shown in the perfect square number? So you have to memorize this one, two, three, seven, eight. Which of the following digit are not shown in the perfect square number? Which of the following digit are not shown in one in, in one place or in, in one in one's place or one's place of the perfect square number. That means unit place digit cannot be two, three, seven, eight. 
Okay, now question number 19. A rational number is definitely zero. Is a rational number. Zero by one is a rational number. And two by three is a rational number. The all are correct answer. Question number 19, A, B, C, D. So here, question number 19, we have to answer A, B, C, D. All are the correct answer. What is the square root of 30.25? So this is square root, find the square root of 30.25. So there is 11, 11, 11 by 2, or if we convert into a decimal, this is 5.5. So answer is 5.5. A rational number is, this is not the rational, it, uh, 1 by 1, yes, 2 by other. So this is not. Denominator side is zero. That means we cannot divide any number by the zero. Though it's a uh, fraction, but this fraction is, is undefined because the denominator is zero. That's why this is not the correct option. So rational number two and three is the correct answer. Next, by which list number to be multiplied to get is the perfect discuss. So just now make a pair. One pair, seven, seven, another pair, two, two, another pair. So that is the three is the pairless factor. So that's why the number should be multiplied or divided by three to make it perfect square. A rational number is, this is the rational number, this is the rational number. This one is not the rational number because though this one is a fraction, but something divided by zero is not possible in mathematics. There is a math error for the denominator zero. No problem if we see here numerator zero, but denominator zero cannot be placed here. So now uh, this is not the correct answer. Answer number two and three, which following one is a rational number. Okay, review this one. Which following one is a rational number? I think uh, this is, if we use here 0 0.09, there will be the 0. Point 0 0.3 and this is irrational number this is irrational number this is irrational number so answer is only a, a irrational number is uh, definitely this is irrational number uh, 196 means okay review this one 196 square root of 196 there is a 14 this is 14 and 205 square root of 205 this one is a square root of 205 means 205. But here is this is 5 by 5, that is 1. So on this is irrational, irrational number. This one is irrational number. After doing the simplification, this is a rational number. So irrational number is 1 and 2. Correct answer A. By which of the uh, which of the list number this number should be divided? Such like as previous one, make their pair. So only three is the pairless factor. That's why the whole number is to be multiplied or divided by the three to make it perfect square. Now the next question, 27. Observe the following information. Negative number can be the rational number. Definitely negative number can be a rational number. The minus three by two is a, minus three by two is a rational number. Yes, minus three by two is a rational number. A negative number can be irrational number. Uh, yes, negative number can be rational, can be rational number. No problem. Definite, only the definition is if the number can be written as p by q form, this one will be the rational. If we cannot write in p by q form, this one will be the irrational number. So definitely we can convert any negative number like this is minus five. So we can write here minus five by one, no problem. So this is the rational number. But here the minus five, root over minus five, we cannot co convert this number like P by Q form. That is, that's why negative number is an irrational number. So I think 27 question answer is 27 number question. And this answer is 20A, B, and C. All informations are correct here. Okay, now next question, which of the following is the irrational number? Definitely negative number may be rational, negative number may be rational, negative number may be rational. This is only the irrational number. So correct answer, 
only the according to the question irrational number so definitely correct answer is correct answer is only only d is the correct answer so th this is the irrational number which of the following is an irrational number there will be four there will be four to root over two there will be six and there will be seven so this is only irrational number Answer the question number 30 and 31 from the following informations. The difference of consecutive two numbers is 13. If the first number is seven, what is the other's number? One number is seven. So another number may be eight or maybe six. There is 36, this is 49, this is 64. And now identify whose difference is 13. The difference is 13 here, uh, one number, the difference of the square of two consecutive number, difference of the square of two consecutive number is 13. If one number is seven, what is the another number? So 49 minus 36. So here 49 minus 36, 49 minus 36, the difference is 13. Here difference is 13 and here difference is 64 minus 49. So here difference is 15. So according to the question, Two consecutive number and there is square difference is 13. So if one number is seven, another number is six. What is the sum of there? What is the sum of the square of two number? Sum of the square. Sum of the square. Sum of the square means here, uh, six square plus seven square. Sum of the that square. So right here, six square plus seven square. The number is 85, correct answer, 85. Okay, now next question, zero is an integer. Definitely zero is an integer, uh, irrational number. Zero is a rational number. Yes, we can write zero as like as P by Q from uh, a negative number. Zero is a negative, no, zero is non-negative number. This information is wrong. So one and two correct answer. Zero is non-negative number. So, dear student, this is all about your assignment. Uh, just I have tried to collect all type of MCQ from the chapters. If you have any question, please let me know. Inshallah, I will try to answer successively all MCQ from this academic book, class seven. And if you have any requirement or any objection, any question, please let me know. Inshallah, I will try to answer as far as you demand and hope to see you all in the next classes. Wish you all the best. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi.